Hello everybody and welcome to this microeconomic video on demand and demand curves. So firstly, what is demand? Well, demand is defined as being the number of goods bought by consumers at a certain price over a period of time. So that's how much of a good consumers, people like you and me, will buy depending on how much the price of the good is over time. So how much consumers will buy depending on the price over time. That's what demand is. And demand can be shown on a demand curve as we have drawn here. On our y-axis, we have price, P. And on our x-axis, we have quantity demanded, Q. And quantity demanded just means how much demand there is. And our demand curve slopes downwards from left to right. And this is due to a very important rule I have written down at the bottom here. If the price is low, then demand will be high. And we can see that on the curve. When the price is £1, if we draw across and then draw down, our quantity demanded is 200 which is quite high. And this is because if the price is low, then it is attractive for people to buy that good because it's cheap. It encourages people to go and buy that good. So therefore, demand for it will be high. However, if the price is high, this is a disincentive to buy that good. It's expensive. So this puts people off buying it. So therefore, less people buy it, so demand will be low. So therefore, when the price is high, demand is low. And that is shown in the diagram as well. When the price is £3 and we draw across and draw down, demand is only 50 Now, there will be many more factors affecting demand other than price. So a few examples would be income. If income rises, people have more money, so they'll buy more, so therefore demand increases. Fashion, if goods come into fashion, then their demand will increase as more people are buying them. Advertising, if a company increases the amount of advertising of their goods, more people know about their goods, so therefore the demand for their goods will increase. And population structure, so for example, if there are lots of old people in the population, then it's likely there will be a high demand for goods that old people particularly buy. There will be an increase in that demand. And when any of these other factors that aren't price which affect demand change there is a shift of the demand curve and this picture here shows a decrease in demand so say for example if a good were to go out of fashion it isn't trendy to have anymore therefore people will stop buying it so therefore its demand will decrease and we show this by a shift left of the demand curve and the way this results in a fall in demand is like so. So if the price of our good is £4 and always stays at £4, if we read across to D1, our original demand curve, our quantity demanded was 75 units. But now demand decreases because the good goes out of fashion, so the demand curve shifts left to D2. Now if we read across from £4 to D2 and then read down, our new quantity demanded is 50 units. So our quantity demanded has fallen by 25 units from 75 to 25. So a shift left in the demand curve results in a fall in demand. However, if any of these factors that aren't price which affect demand cause an increase in demand, our curve shifts to the right, the other way around. So say for example, the income of the population rose. So therefore people have more money to spend so therefore they will buy more goods, so therefore demand will increase. And if demand increases, our curve shifts to the right, shown here from D1 to D2. And this works like so. So if our price is £1, then the price of our good always stays at £1. If we read across to D1, our original demand curve, our quantity demanded, if we read down, is 50 units. But then there is an increase in income, so demand increases, so our curve shifts to D2. So now if we read across from £1 to D2 and then read down, our quantity being demanded is 100 units. So there has been an increase in demand of 50 units from 50 to 100 units. So therefore, a shift right of the demand curve results in a rise in demand.